Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today. <sighs> I just had to take a breath. I want you to understand something that people have been planted in your life to steal your memory bank, to, to control your memory bank. I think that's a better way that I should put that. The enemy has strategically placed people in your life to control your memory bank. The devil does not want you to ever understand how to fully function in this dimension. He wants you to think that you just landed in a body to always work for someone else or do something for someone else, but never really dig into who you are. I want you to understand that within the human form of whatever year you were born, you're the best version of that year in that form. And with every year, you're supposed to learn more about you. You know, in school, we learned about the reproductive system, the circulatory system, the nervous system. All of these systems within the human body. But what good is it to know what the system is when you cannot use the most important part of the system to elevate your life in God? No one wants to talk about the significance of your memory, the significance of consciousness. It's taboo. The devil doesn't want you to know about it because he understands that if you could ever get into your nervous system and begin to kind of pull back the way that the human mind and brain works, and how it's all in connection with the heart center and it flows down into the solar plexus of you, your belly, baby. He understands that if you ever could figure out what to do with yourself, that he can have a hold on you. See, some of us are held captive by memories, memories of our upbringing, memories of maybe our parents not being there, Memories of things that may have happened to us in our childhood. Memories of things that may have happened to us in the past few years. Memories of things that consistently just just push out into our, our, our central nervous system that causes us heartache and pain. Just memories of certain things that cause us to be so, so wired up on the inside that we don't know how to relax. It's just a memory. The devil is using your memory, honey, to control your bank, control your spiritual bank, control your mental bank, control your physical bank, and to control your financial bank. I want you to know that he has declared war on your memory bank. Mm, mm, mm. He's declared war on your memories, baby. You can't even get where you want to get in life because you're still blaming your mama and your daddy for what they did to you 30 years ago. You can't even get where you want to get in your life because that situation that didn't work out with that man or that woman haunts you. And so it has left a stigma on your mind to make you think that all men are bad or make you think that all women are bad. Honey, you can't even find love because of no memory bank. You can't even begin to imagine how it would feel for you to really sit down and just be still and just listen to God. Your memory bank, honey, stillness makes you feel sad and it makes you feel depressed and it makes you feel anxiety and it makes you feel hopeless and worthless because the enemy has attacked your memory bank. But I'm just here to remind you, uh-huh, that I come in the name of Jesus Christ, uh-huh, because everything that I'm doing up in this dimension, baby, it ain't even about me. Wait a minute. It's about the one who sent me, okay? I am here to do a significant work
work uh -huh, for the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. To let you understand that you are under spiritual attack. Uh huh. You think that everything that has been happening up in this environment, you think that everything that has been happening up in your life, you think the fact that you have to be on this medication and that medication to find some peace. Uh huh. You think because of the fact that you keep living your life on repeat. Uh huh. It's the way that it's supposed to be, honey. But I came to pull the covers, uh-huh, off of the elephant up in your room, uh-huh, to let you know that you are under a spiritual attack and that the enemy is using your past, uh-huh. He's using your memories, uh-huh, to control everything about you. I'm talking about mental. I'm talking about physical. I'm talking about financially. And I'm talking about everything about you. He has taken control and possession of your mind through memories. The memory bank. The memory bank of a broken heart. Man, every time I get with someone, they leave me. Just like my parents did. The memory bank. Struggle. You know, we don't come from an educated family. So we'll never have every, anything. The memory bank. That's just for people that luck up in life. It can't be for me. He's controlling your memory bank. You know, everybody just struggle around me all the time. It's just the way life is. Your memory bank of this political party is in office or this political party is in office. If this person wins, we got it. If this person wins, we got it. Baby, the only thing that needs to be in the office of space and time in your life is God through the blood of Jesus Christ. I wanted to reach up on here and let you know, baby, that it's time for you to take possession of your memory bank. Uh-huh. It's time for you to take it and sit it down uh huh, and meditate and ponder on the things of God. It is time for you to call down any high imagination uh huh, that's using your mouth, your own mouth, to speak against you. See, sometimes it's not even anybody else to do all the damage, the collateral damage that's in our lives. The enemy will come into your mind, my mind, and convince us of what to say about ourselves. But I just declare war on the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, baby, to let you know that all power lies up in your hands. And the reason why all power lies up in your hands, because you are in the master's hand, baby. The power lies up in your mind. Yeah, because that memory will get you out of a mess or into more mess. I want you to understand that it's time for you to understand how your mind be working. I want you to understand it's time for you to understand how the mind and the, and the heart is in a relationship together. I want you to understand that there's more neurons in your stomach, baby, that sends a signal up to your mind to tell you what to do. I want you to understand that God put you into a body not for you to misuse your body or get somebody. That God put you in a body so you, you can educate yourself about your body so that you can push the kingdom through. I said it's time for you to take your memory bank and work it in this environment. And until the next video, guys, Mwah. peace, because I believe that you can. Bye now.